podcast.
Buenos días. Si necesitan servicios de interpretación, eh, por favor vengan acá donde está el escenario. Hay audífonos para los padres que necesitan uh, traducción para la ceremonia. Podium check, podium check, podium.
Mine's on. Buenos días, última llamada para servicios de interpretación. Por favor, vengan al lado izquierdo del escenario para recoger sus audífonos para la ceremonia. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the Clarksburg High School commencement ceremony here at Mount St. Mary's. We are thrilled that you are here to celebrate our graduates, and as one Seabird community, we want to ensure a pleasant and safe experience for everyone. Since we will be spending the next few hours together, please take a moment to introduce yourself to your neighbors sitting near and around you. pay attention to your surroundings and look for the easiest and safest way to exit the venue. There are two sets of doors on either side of this stage, which also serve as exits at the end of the ceremony. For those family members sitting in the bleachers, Please use the steps in each aisle as you climb or descend from the bleachers. Please do not step on the bleacher seats. In an emergency, please exit the stadium quickly and make your way to your cars. Restrooms are limited but available on both the first and second floors. Thank you for listening and please enjoy Clarksburg High School's 15th annual commencement ceremony for the class of 2022.
say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's breaker the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled that not yet wave o'er the land of the free and a home of the amazing friends and family, and amazing staff members. My name is Margie Shaljan, and I'm the class of 2022 class president here at Clarksburg High School. Today is an exciting day, a day that we and our loved ones couldn't even fathom when we were in kindergarten, a day that seemed far enough away when we were freshmen, and a day we truly didn't believe would come soon enough as we finished out senior year. As class president, I've had the honor to watch our class not only become the best class that has ever walked through Clarksburg High School's doors, <laughs> but more importantly, have gotten to watch each one of you grow into strong, confident young adults. You know, one of my favorite quotes is by T.S. Eliot, which states, the journey, not the destination, matters. It's cliche, I know, but hear me out. Graduation certainly was our destination, but today celebrates much more. The journey that got us here and shaped the people that we are today. Our journey started back freshman year as we walked through those big metal entrance doors wondering how the next four years would possibly play out. You walk in with this image of how high school is going to go. Not necessarily that it would be as perfect as a Hollywood movie, but hey, maybe close? Turns out real life's a bit more complicated, but we certainly had the goal that one day we would leave our mark on Clarksburg. As we moved on to sophomore year, things finally started to feel as if they were falling into place. Finally, we were no longer at the bottom of the barrel as freshmen. It started off as a normal year with sporting events, theater productions, club meetings, and more. No one could have predicted that on March 13th, 2020, we were going to say goodbye to the lives we once knew. Gone were Friday night lights, pep rallies, homecoming. The high school experience we were used to had simply vanished. Junior year was certainly a year to remember. Along came Zoom, and of course, every student's beloved camera off button, as we said hello to the world of virtual school. Our sense of normal was gone but we persevered. We tackled arguably the toughest year of high school academically in an online world, and still made the most of it. From sponsoring Battle of the Berg Spirit Week to winning $1,000 for our class in Clarksburg's annual Winter Spirit Week, we were able to make the most out of our junior year, despite everything it threw our way. As we closed up our laptops and said goodbye to Zoom, we prepared to see our peers as, and come back to school after 535 days. But hey, who was counting as we got ready to start our senior year? 
We kicked it off promptly at 5.30 in the morning in the senior parking lot as we watched the sunrise together. We participated in classic senior events like the senior mural painting and senior storm, but were able to create some new traditions as well. I think we can certainly say we achieved our, we achieved our goal of making our mark on Clarksburg because boy did we do it and we did it big. Whether you're attending college, joining the military, going to learn a trade, or going straight to the workforce, whatever it may be, I ask this of you. Don't ever lose hope. Let me tell you a quick story. For those of you who don't know, I have spent my high school career dedicated to serving the football team as the varsity and junior varsity football manager. When I signed up to be a football manager, honestly, it's purely because I didn't know what else to do in high school and my mom suggested it, but it became so much more than just an extracurricular. It became my second family. It was during high school where I discovered that being a football manager was really was something I was called to do. And when the pandemic hit, I almost lost hope I would ever get to do that again. Key word in that story though is almost. I never lost faith that one day I would get to step back on that football field. The real, and, and finally, after missing an entire season, I stepped back on that football field again. The real key in that story is simple. Don't lose hope. Even when things become tough, keep going and it will all work out. So this is it, the destination of our journey, our journey we got to share among each other. This also is where our next journey slightly changes. No longer will it be one we share together, but instead one that is different for each 630 of us. They won't be easy. We will fall and make mistakes, but that's okay. Keep going and push through, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Just because each of our 630 journeys look a bit different doesn't mean we have to go through them alone. We will always have each other, despite whatever happens, because as Mr. Wusu always says, Coyote Blue is attached to you forever. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lisa Lynn, the class of 2022 secretary. I would like to give a warm welcome to our very own Clarksburg High School principal, Mr. Edward K. Ousu. <laughs> Assistant principals, Mrs. Allison Gordon, Ms. Shannon Grigsby, Mr. Bakari Haynes, Mr. Daniel Mulcahy, Mrs. Julie Murray, and our school business administrator, Mr. Patrick Bazemore. On the stage, we have as well, Area Associate Superintendent and the first principal of Clarksburg High School, Mr. James P. Kutzos. <laughs> Board of Education member, the Honorable Dr. Judith Daka. <laughs> Director of Learning, Achievement, and Administration, Mr. Christoph Turk. And also joining us today are the principals of our feeder elementary and middle schools. Mr. Carl Bensel from Clarksburg Elementary School. Mr. Lee Derby from Cedar Grove Elementary School. Ms. Nikisha Blackman from Daly Elementary School. Ms. Diana Zabotakis from Fox Chapel Elementary School. Ms. Lita Yates from Fox Chapel Elementary School. Mr. Sean Miller from Little Bennett Elementary School. Mrs. Yolanda Allen from Snowden Farm Elementary School. Mr. Kevin Burns from Wilson Wims Elementary School. Dr. Barbara Woodward from Hallie Wells Middle School. Ms. Vicki Lake Parkin from Nielsville Mall School. 
and Miss Angie Fish from Rocky Hill Middle School. We would also like to give a warm welcome to our commencement guest speaker, Dr. John King. Thank you for being here with us today and commemorating this graduating class. Hello everyone, my name is Cam Agosto and I'm the class council historian. Our next speaker is a rose that grew from concrete. Ingrid Doku is an artist who inspires others to stay true to themselves and persevere. They are undoubtedly talented, but their artwork is not the only thing that makes them special. During these challenging times, Ingrid has been a light of positivity to their peers. They have spread this light through the National Junior Honor Society, the National Art Honor Society, and even the STEP team. They are a walking reminder of how important our mental health is. It is my pleasure to introduce the remarkable Ingrid Doku. Hi everyone, students, staff, family. Thank you for all coming today. I want to formally introduce myself as Ingrid Dokru. I wanted to do something different this year, very different, clearly. I wanted to put you all in my shoes for just a few minutes. I'm a size seven, so I apologize if they're a little tight. My hands are not just my hands, but my identity. My hands shine through communication and self-expression. Now, I want you to look at your hands. No, I'm not talking about the nails you just got done, the rings you may have on, the bracelet you are wearing, but really look at them. Think about the beautiful pictures you color in kindergarten. Back then when having the biggest box of crayons made you the coolest kid on the block. Those same hands get to hold this diploma today. All because you show up. All the days you didn't want to come to class, but you did it anyway. I'm proud of you for pushing through during a pandemic. By that I mean senior-itis. Even if you just turn on your laptop, you went to sleep, it still counts in my book. You show up in the summer sun to Black Lives Matter protests all around the state. You show up to all the Friday night lights. You show up to prom absolutely jaw-dropping. I want you to keep doing that. 90% of life is just being there. The other 10% is execution. I've learned from you what it means to make things happen. Whether it was on the field, or behind a camera, or picking up a paintbrush. You show how possible everything really is when you just show up. I want you to wrap this up by saying, I trust you. I trust that you will cherish everyone who made this 12 year long chapter worthwhile. Even the people you think are just on the sidelines, they showed up. The teacher that gave you extra time for your assignments, the person in the hallways that find a nice outfit every day, for me, it's the girl that waves excitedly every day when her name is fingerspelled in ASL class for attendance. 
They also tell you to smell the roses, but remember to smell the wallflowers too. Most of all, I trust you that you will do it all your way with the coyote spirit. I'm giving you one last high school assignment. Keep the blue flame with you. Let it remind you that there are always going to be people that make life hurt a little less, but there are always going to be a joke that make you smile a little more. Remember, the hands I told you to look at, the future look beautiful in them. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Molly McGrath, and I'm the class treasurer, and it is my pleasure to welcome our next speaker. He has been with NCPS for 28 years and has been at Clarksburg for five. He has been a leader for us these past years and has been able to unite us as a class. Being able to guide not only us, but our entire school through the trying times that have come with COVID. Being a parent to a senior himself, Mr. Wusu has had to deal with the same things that our parents have. When asked what have you realized in being a parent to a senior, he replied, senioritis is real. I would now like to welcome our principal, Mr. Arusu. Thank you, Molly, for the kind words and introduction. You and your classmates are my second family, and yes, senioritis is a real thing. Akwaba, peace and blessings to all of you, and thank you for attending. I have been privileged to serve as principal of Clarksburg High School and have learned to take the best picture. To take the best picture, you have to know where to stand. And the picture I see from my eyes this morning is magnificent. This is the 15th annual Clarksburg High School commencement, and it is like none other. In composing my remarks, I was interrupted several times with my cell phone. I didn't answer the call initially because I did not recognize the number. The persistence of the caller was evident. So I picked up the phone. Hello? Then the voice, that voice came and it impacted me and I'm sure many of you ever since. The automated voice said, hi there, we have been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. You guys get those calls too? I'm trying to find that individual. And those words are the keys to the future and a nugget of wisdom. So before going any further, I first must acknowledge those members of our community who are not physically here this morning. The pandemic has taken so very much of us, including our dear loved ones. And for those friends and family members who are not physically present, please remember the smiles, their voice, and that spiritual impact that they continue to have on all of us. I also want to thank our parents and guardians, and this includes your aunts and uncles and caregivers. Many of you would be rich right now if your kids didn't eat so much. All the milk, the cereal, the mac and cheese that you've purchased over the years would have made you rich. In fact, the piles of shoes and the smell that came from those shoes, that's good living. To see your children now as young adults is very, very humbling. You have done good work, parents. Never forget that. Students, please put your hands together and give your parental units a round of applause. <laughs> to our Clarksburg High School faculty and staff, thank you for your tireless efforts to support our students in achieving excellence. Whether you taught a class, coached a team, greeted families in the main office, or helped secure our school to keep everyone safe, our faculty and staff have shown through their words and their actions that relationships matter. Without a doubt, it is clear to everyone that educators and all those that work for schools are superheroes. I'd like to give a special thanks to the wizard in the back, Ms. Patricia Moser, who is our graduation coordinator. I ask you, 
If you wouldn't mind, please giving a thunderous round of applause to be given for our Clarksburg High School faculty and staff. I'd again like to recognize our Clarksburg Cluster principals and administrators that are here this, today. Thank you for leading the way with these students. These young adults graced your schools and classrooms in kindergarten through eighth grade. You started that bus ride, and as a high school principal, I am honored to be the last stop. Thank you. Also, special thanks to my colleague and friend, Mr. Scott Smith. Mr. Scott Smith is now the principal of Northwest High School, who originally who originally served as assistant principal for the first two years of our students' Clarksburg experience. So thank you, Mr. Smith, for being here. KJ loves you. I also want to thank and acknowledge three school leaders that will retire at the end of this year. Mr. Sean Miller, principal of Little Bennett Elementary School. Mrs. Vicki Parkan, principal of Nielsville Middle School and Mrs. Diana Zevatakis, Principal of Fox Chapel Elementary School. Thank you all for your years of service to Montgomery County Public Schools. So signs are everywhere, sometimes in print, and other times signs are masked as automated calls about your extended warranty. So in composing my remarks, I've marveled at the signs of resilience in the face of adversity and disappointment. The resilience to fly without a net, no warranty, no cap, to make, that, you got that, to make that experience at CHS the best it can be. You students are a special kind of earthling. You found new ways to shine. You created clubs and organizations to reach out and do good. For example, Adam Letterer created an algorithm and website system during the height of the pandemic for pre-registration for COVID vaccinations and is now on an algorithm to find a baby formula for children and families. Great job, Adam. Our motto, our motto of be good and do good is live through service to others. So it's therefore my pleasure that students in the class of 2020, you have earned 98,383 community service hours. That's amazing. <laughs> additionally, additionally, 105 students earned 260 hours or more and the distinction of meritorious service. These students took it a step further to be more and do more. The following students have earned the highest amount of student service learning hours for students. Congratulations to Lucinda Bake with 790 hours. Nicholas, Nicholas Fansel with 793 hours. Jordan Lee with 910 hours and 30 minutes. Shanasa Iheme with 1,160 hours and 30 minutes. And Margie Shalgian with 1,497 hours and 30 minutes. Our seniors contributed to leadership and athleticism of our school athletics program. 40 teams won sportsmanship awards. 15 teams won division championships, nine of which came from just this year alone. Four region championships were won by members of this class in field hockey, cheer, and girls basketball. Three county championships were won by members of the class through boys volleyball last year and this year, as well as girls basketball. We had one state finalist team, our girls basketball. What? And we had a Minds in Motion, one Minds in Motion Maryland scholarship honoree in Zam Nawusu. In addition to outside athletic and artistic activities, including archery, Latin dance, ice hockey, Irish dance, and more. So students, if you participated on a sports team or any kind of competitive activity while at Clarksburg, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. There are college graduates in this group of amazing students who already received their college degree this past May. 
there are 34 Pathways in Network and Information Technology students, better known as PTech graduates, and 40 early college students that earned their associate's degree from Montgomery College as part of their dual degree programs. And today, they'll earn their high school diploma. This is the first cohort of PTEC students to graduate from Clarksburg and the only such program in Montgomery County Public Schools. Would our PTEC students and early college students please stand and be recognized? Thank you to our PTEC and early college students. Over 187 students earned the President's Award for Educational Excellence, earning a combined GPA over 3.75, while 107 students earned the President's Award for Educational Achievement, earning a combined GPA of 3.5 to 3.74. Our students noted in your program were identified as Governor's Merit Scholars, members of the eight different nationally recognized honor societies at Clarksburg. Clarksburg Top 25 honorees, Advanced Placement Scholars, Maryland Seal of Biliteracy honorees, Three seniors passed the NSCA exam to become certified personal trainers. And among you are Project Lead the Way honorees, as well as our U.S. Presidential Scholar for the State of Maryland, who will be attending William & Mary, Ms. Sarah Thomas. <laughs> to date, the senior class that we know of has amassed over $20 million in scholarship dollars. That's a lot. This includes merit and need-based general scholarships. In our numerous, numerous clubs and organizations, students found their new passions as well as like-minded individuals that became friends. Groups such as Notch and Minority Scholars put on a fantastic performance and educated all of us in the richness that diversity brings. Students such as Janae Lubuka, Olivia May, and Ishika Naik all received CAPI nominations for their performances in our CH Stage Drama Program. Jeanne won Young Artist Pop Vocal Vocalist and one of the highest honors in the nation, and she will be attending Juilliard School for the Performing Arts this fall. <laughs> the music department. The music department under the direction of Mr. Orifice and Ms. Vanek led growth and family atmosphere. The competitive indoor percussion and winds groups both, both won championships this year. Peter Winstel won the 2022 Potomac Valley Youth Orchestra Concerto competition performing on clarinet. <laughs> Jillian, Jillian Couples was admitted to the School of Music at Towson University and was also accepted into the world-class drum corps Jersey Surf and will be touring the country this summer. 20, 26 senior singers are graduating today. These students earned their choir's top scores and superior ratings. Congratulations, guys. Peyton. Peyton Frazier was selected as a soloist at Carnegie Hall with the National Youth Chorus. Connor Halverson, Jasmine Wang, and KJ Wall are all accepted into Maryland schools to pursue degrees in music education, following a legacy following a legacy of Clarksburg, where students are now teaching music in MCPS. Peyton, Ishika, and Preston Shableski all were accepted into the Maryland All-State Chorus for four consecutive years, and the students I have mentioned performed outstanding in respective disciplines. But so too did our English language learners and students identified with learning disabilities. They too have worked hard. And so has a student who's had to work multiple jobs to support their families, watch and help raise a younger sibling, or have made personal sacrifices. They have worked so very, very hard. Resilience is a characteristic they all possess. I remind you of our motto of be good and do good. You must assume the special responsibility to be good and do good. Our school's tenets of leadership scholarship and relationships are held together with the glue that we share a common bond on this planet. Your legacy that you will leave on this planet isn't defined by what's on your high school transcript. It's your character that shapes your destiny. Alternately, your efforts to improve who you are as an individual during these years at Clarksburg are important. But know this, you haven't peaked yet. Don't be defined by what you didn't know or didn't do. You're deciding your life right now. There's more to come. You're not done learning and you're not done growing. 
It's the journey that matters, and you must be resilient, and you must have faith. One of my favorite poems is entitled The Station, and it captures the journey. It speaks about how sometimes we see ourselves on a long trip, almost like the drive up here in the line to get into this place, possibly spanning the continent. We're traveling by passenger train, and our gaze is captured by the events outside the window as we see cars on highways, small children waving, cattle grazing in distant hillside, row upon row of corn, wheat, and flatbeds, and valleys, and mountains and hills. All this is viewed from the comfort of our seat on this train. Outside the window, the world whizzes by. In our minds, we're always thinking about the destination. On a particular hour, on a certain day, we will pull into that station, and oh, what a day will be. The crowds will be cheering, bands will playing, and so many dreams will come true when we arrive. So we wait. We pace the aisles. We're waiting and waiting and waiting. When I'm 18, that will be it. When I put that last child through college, yeah, that'll be it. When I paid off the mortgage, uh-huh, that will be it. When I win that promotion, yep, that will be it. When I reach the age of retirement, that will be it. I shall live happily ever after. Unfortunately, once we get to that station, it disappears. The station always hides itself and it's outdistance us. Sooner or later, we have to realize that there is no one station and no one place for all of us. The station is a myth. The true joy in life is the trip itself. The station will so come soon enough. There's no extended warranty on that. The pandemic has taught us how to live while planning for the future successes and failures. So students, as I said to you in the summer of 2018, when we first met as freshmen, please keep and remember these words. Be careful of your thoughts because your thoughts become your words. Be careful of your words because your words become your actions. Be careful of your actions because your actions become your habits. And be careful of your habits because your habits become your character. Be careful of your character because your character, that becomes your destiny. But if you can't remember all that, just remember four words. Be good, do good. Be good and do good. That's it, that's the extended warranty speech. Although some of you will travel to different colleges and join the military or begin working in your careers, you should know that Clarksburg Legacy quoted by Mr. Lanny Seymour. Coyote Blue is attached to you. Congratulations, Clarksburg Class of 2022. I'm proud of you and I love you. And now our chorus. Of the water long as I can remember 
never really knowing why. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water, no matter how hard I try. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, every road leads back to a place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the light where the sun is the sea, it calls me, and no one knows how far it goes. If the wind is my sail, and the sea stays behind me. One day I'll know If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go I have often dreamed of a far off place Where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me where the crowds would cheer when they see my face And a voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be I'll be there someday I can go the distance and I will find my way If I can be strong, I might every mile be worth my Distance, I'll be right where I belong. Down in the hard times, turn I take and trail I track. Trip and trace my way. Down in the hard times, turn I take and trail I track. Trip and trace my way. Down in the hard times, turn I take and trail I track. Trip and trace my way. And a thousand years I can see it with pride I can make a strong If you would know it That is fine I'm very good If I take a heart I'm so nice And I won't look back I can go the distance And no one knows how far it goes And I'll stay on track No, I won't accept defeat One day I'll know But beyond that line that I cross that line See the light that I sign to see It calls me And no one knows How far it goes It's a wind to myself And the sea stays behind My name is Sahaj Singh, and I've had the pleasure of being your class historian for the past three years. Today, I have the privilege of introducing our commencement speaker. Like many of us here today, he has endured and persevered through challenging times. Through his hard times, education became a guiding light. Through hard work and the support of educators, he was selected to serve the Obama administration as the first Afro-Latino U.S. Secretary of Education. Dr. John B. King is a man of many accomplishments. He has battled to expand Pell Grants for incarcerated students, currently teaches at the University of Maryland, and is now working towards serving the state of Maryland as its governor, receiving his Bachelor's of Art from Harvard University, a Master's and Doctor in Education from Columbia University, and Doctor of Law from Yale. It's apparent that education is essential to him. 
Amongst his many accomplishments, one thing remains clear, his abundant passion for education. Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Dr. John B. King. Looking forward to your speech. Hello, Clarksburg class of 2022. I'm honored to be here with your teachers and parents to celebrate you. Graduating from high school is a significant achievement under normal circumstances, but you have all faced a uniquely difficult path. To get to this day, you not only succeeded in difficult coursework and overcame personal challenges, but navigated a world deeply changed by a pandemic and social upheaval. And you reach this milestone today thanks to the support of one another. Your student-led clubs came together and worked hand in hand to strengthen your bonds when we were forced to separate during the height of COVID. You stepped up as leaders in your community by marching in support of Black Lives. On athletic fields and courts, many of you experienced the soaring joy of hard-fought wins and the stinging heartbreak of losses, while always learning invaluable lessons about the value of teamwork. You traveled together to College Park to support your girls' basketball team as they competed for the state championship, and you were there to pick them up when they came home. In school auditoriums and theaters, many of you acted in plays, sang in choirs, and performed in orchestras. In your classrooms and in your communities, you created art. In science and engineering labs, you conducted experiments and just maybe invented the next big thing. And when the lights went out at a football game this past season, you came together and lit the stadium up with your cell phone, flashlights, and music. As your teachers and administrators told me, it was you, the students, who remained calm in the face of darkness. As you move into the next chapter of your lives, I hope you'll remember that it is the experience of school that you will take with you and that has forever changed you. The experience of learning and growing as a result of all that you've accomplished. The experience of teachers, school counselors, and mentors who supported you. The experience of family members and friends who believed in you. Certainly your time in high school didn't look like what you'd imagined, but you've learned so much about the power of what happens when you stand together in the face of adversity. Maybe for some of you, there were folks who counted you out, who didn't think that you could succeed. I can relate because I know what happens in your life when people rally around you. I was the first United States Secretary of Education to have been kicked out of high school. You heard that right. The first United States Secretary of Education to have been kicked out of high school. When I was a kid, both my parents were educators, but they both passed away when I was little. My mom when I was eight, and my dad when I was 12. In the period when it was just my dad and me, my dad was struggling with Alzheimer's. I didn't know what home would be like from one night to the next. Some nights he'd talk to me, some nights he wouldn't say a word, some nights he'd be sad, angry, even violent. The thing that saved me was school. School was the one place in my life that was safe and supportive. But in high school, I struggled. I got in a lot of trouble, like many kids who've experienced trauma. But I was very lucky that there were teachers and a school counselor and family members who were willing to give me a second chance. It's because of that second chance that I was able to go on to become an educator myself. They helped me understand that I got to decide who I wanted to be and that I had the power to shape the world that I wanted to see. And that's my message to you today. Even th when things don't go as planned, even in the midst of a global pandemic, you get to decide how you respond. As for me, I've dedicated my career to advancing social justice through education. For you, you've already demonstrated grace through adversity. You've already shown perseverance by getting here today. Some of you earned your diplomas while taking care of family members who were sick. Others of you had to work to support your family. Still others were home during the pandemic helping younger siblings to learn online. 
The pandemic has shined a spotlight on so many of our country's persistent challenges, economic inequality, the digital divide, racial inequities, and disparities in access to healthcare. Now, as you graduate, you get to decide who you want to be in pursuit of how you want the world to be. I hope that you'll be the kind of people who choose to take action and organize around the issues you care about. I hope that you will vote and participate in the political process. I hope you'll recognize the importance of building community and that none of us does things entirely on our own. I hope you'll lift others as you climb. I hope you'll celebrate the value of the diversity in this room. Look around this room. This room, Clarksburg High School, reflects the diversity that we see growing in our state and in our country. And we know that diversity makes us stronger. Class of 2022, you come from a long history of trailblazers. Maryland is the home to Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman and Thurgood Marshall, transformative leaders who themselves navigated turbulent times. Maryland is also the home to my ancestors who were enslaved just a few miles from where I now live. I live in Silver Spring in Montgomery County. My great-grandfather was enslaved in Gaithersburg, Maryland. The property where my great-grandfather was enslaved is still owned to this day by the family that are direct line descendants of the family that enslaved my family. They maintained the property just as it was in the 1860s, same main house that was built in the 1700s, and the cabin that my great-grandfather lived in with his family as an enslaved person still standing on the property. Over the last couple of years, I've gotten to know the family. We've become friends, and I've gotten to stand inside of that cabin. And when I do, I contemplate two things. One, the intense intimacy and cruelty of the institution of slavery. That cabin is not 30 feet from the main house. These were two families living together in the same space, one owning the other. And so many of our challenges as a state and as a country today are tied to that history, the history of slavery, of segregation, of redlining. But the other thing I contemplate standing inside of that cabin is how profound it is that in my family we went in three generations from enslaved in that cabin to serving in the cabinet of the first black president. I'm standing here today because my ancestors survived, because they lived with faith in a future they could not see. And as I look out at all of you, as I look out at the beautiful diversity of Clarksburg High School, as I look at your faces, as I hear about your commitment to each other and to community, I see my ancestors' faith rewarded. I can't wait to see who you become and how you change the world. Congratulations, Clarksburg High School's class of 2022. My name is Nolan Brennan and I have served as the class of 2022 SGA liaison this past year. I am proud to introduce our next speaker, a George Washington University doctorate, an MCPS teacher and administrator for 38 years, and a current Montgomery County Board of Education member, Dr. Judith Daka. Dr. Daka has worked as an MCPS Board of Education member for the past 16 years, aiming to bridge the gap in educational outcomes through her work as a board member as the current co-chair of the Maryland Association of Board of Education's Black and Hispanic Caucus. Dr. Daka has also sought to expand access to higher education readiness programs such as AP, IB, and Magnet. Let us now give a warm welcome to the Honorable Dr. Judith Daka. Well, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to say hello uh, and to tell you that 
Ms. Moser and Mr. Owusu allowed me to have the opportunity to meet your uh, class officers. And they told me pretty much the same kinds of stories that Mr. Owusu told you about the accomplishments of the staff and the students. And the students are reflective in the persons who were their officers. And I know they represented you very well. And I congratulate you for that. And this is my last time to do Clarksburg uh, graduation. I am retiring or finishing my term on the board after 16 years. This is what happens to you. <laughs> but one of my proudest accomplishments is that I hired Mr. Oluso when I was a principal. <laughs> and he won an award the first year that he was teaching as the best in his category. So he's been a winner all the way through. So congratulations to him. So now, by the virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Education of Montgomery County, under the laws of the state of Maryland, I do now award diplomas of, or certificates evidencing the satisfactory completion of prescribed courses of study to the students of Clarksburg High School, who are recommended for graduation by the faculty of the school in receiving this diploma or the certificate. Each of you is entitled to all of the privileges and honors accorded graduates of high school accredited by Maryland State Department of Education. Congratulations, class of 2022. This is the moment. Let us begin with the class officers. Class historian, Cam Augusto. Class SGA liaison, Nolan Robert Brennan. Class vice president, Haley Everest Chung. Class speaker, Ingrid Goku. Class secretary, Lisa Lin. Class treasurer, Molly Aaron McGrath. Class president, Margaret Alice Salgian. And last but not least, class historian, Sahej Kaur Singh. Masood Abdul Muin. Jocelyn Adams. Mia Adams. Thomas Adeji. Moral Agwe. Aladini, Stephanie Alas, Ariana Alini, Antonilia Almondrez Vasquez, Giovanni Alvarenga, Abel Mbaya. Maxwell Amo Mays, Serena Anderson, 
Hannah Anchorbrand Oshawa, Arian Anwar, Dylan Gabriel Anzola, Paris Nora Akif, Emily Fernanda Argetta, Nayeli Samantha Argetta Gomez. Police, Bernice Afi Asoba, Connor Adet, Kane Agente, Mamadou Ah, Isha Barber, Arman Babasade. Erica Eva Areola Badu, Lucinda Beck, Nikita Balajapali, Felipe Sebastián Valtierra Alanis, Alexandra Ira Baneticla, Abdul Aziz Bangura, Ryan Charles Barkley, Merela Patri, Logan Riley Fairhurst, Zina Belbel, Brian Isaac Benavides, Chase Berkhammer, Michelle Berkel Boating, Leslie Mylene Bernan, Jordan Mayana Bernard. Isabella Christine Berry, Eric Bonacharya, Alexander Biba, Sephora Harmony Bio, Edward Shane Buckery, Omar Bojang, Alejandro Bonilla, Naomi Alexandra Bonilla, Susan Mario Boraskin, Ana Lucia Brennan, Nina Renee Bristow, Andre Lewis Britton Jr., Tiffany Maitam Brown, Janae Capri Brown Tyler, Bengala Pranav Boda, Heloni Butala, Janaea Buxton Williams, Brayden James Camacho, Mateo Caleb Campos, Devin Sofia Carlos Myers, Leonardo Adrian Carvajal, Haley Maria Carcamo, Jessica Lynn Carlisle, Rachel Leanne Carlucci, Amanda Gabriel Carpio, Lance Gavin Carr, Antoine Carter, Dayanara Castellanos, Alejandro Bartolome Castillo Yanes, Sienna Castle, Julio Castro Paz, Ashley Ceresini, Andrew John Cerny, Johan Chaco, Cole William Chapman, Grant Nathan Chapman, Hamza Chowdhury, Brooklyn Chavers, Victor Daniel Chavez, Nora Zainab Jihad, Bo Zing Chong, Andrew Francis Garamonte, Rafael Sebastián Chicas, Jeffrey Chen, Olivia Choi, Marie Jean Chualu Tiaja, Jonathan Chu, Nisuku Cleland, Lily Colburn, 
Lila Colbert. Shane Matthew Cole. Brenda Laurier Contreras Cardoza. Shannon Contreras Rivera. Devagier Jalil Costin. Ariana Nicole Covas de Paz. Helen Craig. Victor Desi Cruz. Brian Mark Crimmy Jr. Carson Crisofoli. Caitlin Therese Tongyo Kunanen. Marissa Leanne Cunningham. Jillian Elizabeth Couples. Kittis Dogni. Abigail Christine Daly. Jefferson Dow. Anthony De Hoya. Lillian Michelle De Jesus. Nicolás Fernando Delgado. Christian Parker Delorba. Gabrielle Marilyn DeReggi. Aiden Dusa. Zoe Aaron Devine. Ruanch Singh Duga. Sabuji Diata. Gabriela Diaz Pulesio. Mesa Dieng. Daniel Dirico. Kenneth Lewis Dizon. On Doe. Bradley Jonju Doe. Madison Nicole Dolan. Kylie Dion Donahue. Kyla Trene Dotson. Drissy Do Andrew Christian SB Driss. Christopher Lucas DuBose. Aliyah Lynn Dunkley. Jamie Lee Duke. Nathaniel Connor Eck. Neil Idara. Tyree Gisea Edwards. Nahid Elfiki. Majidal El Shawahin. Jonathan Elandu. Naya Mackenzie Ellis. Stephen Ramala Emisiane. Gavin Connor Enix. Juliana Nayere Erraso. Ulysses Eduardo Espinal. Shalom Cristiana Espinoza. David Estrella. Cushy Faisal. Nicholas Joseph Fantol. Caitlin Scarlett Farias Robildo. Yasmin Fatima. 
Adam V. David Israel Fai. Janet Fang. Mecca Iman Ferguson. Dyrene Irachel Furman Monje. Rebecca Abigail Figueroa. Sean Flannery. Carmen Fletcher. Leah Flood. Noah Foster. Joseph Garvey. Zara Gabuka Colisitu. Tavion Gaither. Catalin Galicia Castro. Niet Ganesh. Sanjana Gangashadi. Andrea Garcia. Jimmy Garcia. Justin Garcia Guerre Soto. Ella Garfinkel. Logan Gardner. Sapana Gali. Mertinu Giletta. Jonathan George. Veronica Gayor. Charisti Giri. Nicole Godinez. Nathan Go. Spencer Goldberg. Adrian Gomez. Isabella Gonzalez. Michael Gonzalez. Ava Gordon. Jada Gordon. Tyler Goins. Brooke Graham. Oh, Ava Grant. Chandler Gray. Anaya Groves. Catherine Bro. Alexander Guevara. Daniel Jamfi. Nicholas Hadid. Samuel Hare. Elisha Hall. Emma Hall. Ryan Han. Jada Hardy. Kellen Hassel. Matthew Hassett. Amaya Hay. Lindsay Heller. Phoenix Henry. Natalia Herboso. Aiden Hernandez. Jason Herr. Jorge Herrera. Melissa Herrera. Isaiah Hildred. Essence Hill. Miles Hines. David Hong. Sarah Hong. Lauren Houston. 
Antoinette Hover, Henry Young, Vivek Hubley, Luke Paul, Tori Hunt, Maheen Hussain, Mutin Ibirobu, Mary Kimberly Idris Canago, Chenise Eheme, Angelina Epembe, Daniela Isaza. Catalina Isaza, Azrael Israel, Jake Jackson, Kayla Jackson, Saeed Jaffrey, Oh Jess Jacktap. Ethan James, Nolani James, Michael Jara, Ranim Jarar, Nana Jimani Prekik. Nandini J. Evelyn Jang. Vanessa Jijo. Aisha Joe. Dylan Johnson, Frida Johnson, Theron Johnson, Anaya Jones. Jones, Shadiman Jones, Elliot Joppy, Aaron Georgianson. Kenneth Jester, Marvin Jewelli, yeah. Leah Kabuto, Siri Vastin, Serini Watson, yeah. Raheem Kamarma. Omar Kanji, yeah. Alan <laughs> Kangabe, Anoop Karaketti, Kevin Karavandi. Bevni Carr, Talha Kazi, Shakaya Kelly, Brian Kelly, Azaria Kerr, Sakina Khalid,
Zahan Khan Emma Kilby Caleb Kim Christopher Kim Ansu Kim Gabriel King Nia Kinlaw Jeffrey Kinney Kirsten Kirkpatrick Eamon Knights Morgan Coe Jacob Koo Manas Kohli Madri Kola Jacob Comey Natani Kosh Yeshi Kothari Alexandra Joy Kwamu Mega Krishna Kumar Anthony LaCruz Lopez Ashley Lagat Adrian Lainez Arthur Lamb Megan Lamb Lakashimi Nishata Lache Juan Loriano Andy Lay <gasps> Laura Leathery Adam Ladera Jordan Lee Maya Lee Betty Lefta, Connor LaFell, Kayla Leon Peraza, Tyree Leonce, Jewel Alexander, Layla Allen, Aditi Banka, Dabika Wismas, Isabella Cabrera, Sierra Diaz, Dinah Edwards. Janelle Eggleston, Peyton Frazier, Connor, How oh, Connor Halverson, Vivian Lai, Jean Lubica. Isabella Matthews, yeah. 
Olivia May? Yeah. Holden Meyer? Yeah. Kenneth Monroe? Yeah. Kiera Pena Fernandez? Yeah. Elena Ravello? Yeah. Fiona Rizvi, yeah. Samira Ria, yeah. Max Sanchez, Danielle Smith, yeah. Preston Zabluski. Kennard K.J. Wall Jasmine Wang Michelle Liang Jennifer Lima Gonzalez Z.J. Lin Carly Loza, Arnolfo Lopez, Gerson Lopez, Adalia Lopez, Amanda Lothian. Emma Loving Good, Derek Luke, Samantha Lucas, Lumiere Luna Gonzalez, Morgan Lynn, Sripada Akash Madala. Juan Carlo Magdengob, Elias McCoof, Marcelo Maldonado, Sujan Manakumar, Lakeisha Monte. Kirsten Martinez, Jazzer Martinez, Luis Martinez, Morgan Mason, Christopher Massacoy, Sheldon Mathis, Natalia Matos de la Rosa, John May, Aiden McCloskey, Aiden McCormick, Jacob McDougal, Sean McGlasson, Cassandra McKelvey. McTimony, Sandra Medina, Eric May, Jacqueline Mejia Corias, <laughs> 
Mohammed Modi. Dave Mohan. Mika Joy Ira Montemayor. Diana Monterosa Flores. Morgan Montgomery. Gerald Montoya. Erica Montoya Sagado. Charles Moore. Christian Moore. Good job, Christian. Freddy Morales Vasquez. Derek Morgan. Taylor Morris. Valeria Motasalas. Hannah Monoma. Dina Malay. Kenneth Munoz Garcia, Daniel Murphy, Lena Muakil, Ruby Muzanila, Adil Masese, Carly Nidecker. Tyrese Nelson, Jalil and Gamalu Babale, Hui Nguyen, Jade Nguyen, Kwa Nguyen, Kyle Nguyen. Marilyn Nguyen, Amina Niamathula, Nigel Nichols, Nikhil Niranjan, Athena Kamya, Benedict Seliema. Chukwe Mecca and Solo. Chinazam Wosu. Jadechi and Zekwu. Ashley Ofei. Kayla O. Amina Oladapo. Nathan Olson. Kevin Omari. Katie Ortega. Elias Owardi. Carlos Pacheca Magina. Dylan Pies. Kaylin Pajot. Abigail Park. Angelo Palermo. Andy Palma. 
Bernard Palmer. Sravanti Papalu. Hazel Parada. Jonathan Paredes Diaz. Sean Parmhands. Jasmine Parsons. Aryan Patel. Devansh Patel. Rhea Patel. Sahil Patel. Thea Patel. Malachi Patterson. Maria Pavlova. Althea May Peñalosa. Aliyah Penn. Nayeli Perez. Alfonso Perez. Noelia Perez Alqueaga. Brandon Perkins. Calvin Pham. Jonah Phelps. Kurt Phillips. Elvis Pineda. Malcolm Pippen. Kamaya Plummer. Brian Pomerantz. Vanessa Alexandra Ponce. Joselina Clarice Porter. Giovanni Posada Argueta. Samantha Brooke Powell. Gordon Brian Prescott. Brian Giovanni Prudencio. Venkata Akalesh Paranam. Megan Kwan. Brando Manuel Quintanilla. Marilyn Quintanilla. Alexandra Rader. Nina Ragavin. Malani Ragu. Lokesh Sankar Ramesh. Anna Jamale Ramirez. Gregory Guillermo Ramirez. Jaylene Michelle Ramirez Moya. Francisco Javier Ramirez Andino. Astrid Nicole Ramirez Garcia. Arian Ramkaran. Rishasai Ramnath. Kyla Joelle Randolph. Jocelyn Lisette Reyes. Nayeli Esmeralda Reyes Aguilar. Coben Alexander Rivas. Jairo Antonio Rivas. Ethan Rizzo. Tyler Logan Roberson. Tevin Thorne Robertson. 
Patrick Kanawa Robin. Fabricio Rodriguez. Gabrielle Enrique Rodriguez. Hilda Del Carmen Bridget Rodriguez Patino. Carla Elizabeth Rodriguez Perez. Sergio Antonio Rosas. Andre Rosignoli. <clears throat> Rhea Ann Roy. <clears throat> Jada Chanel Rush. <laughs> Rohina Sadie. <laughs> Tia Sani. <laughs> Aryan Sahu. <laughs> Amy Sane. <laughs> Nelson Antonio Salazar Diaz. Zayara Jasmine Sampson. Marshall William Sanders. Yasmin Sano. Lester Santos Chavaria. Suresh Saravite Saravin. Hey, Suresh. Saravan Nin, that's it. Benjamin James Saracen. Hattie Sarkis. Natalia Sartor. Luis Alfonso Saucedo. David Soma. Derek Sawyer. <laughs> Tali Vivia Schlenoff. <laughs> Sydney Elizabeth Schwartz. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Scott. <laughs> Vanessa Patricia Sank. <laughs> Ryan Schaefer. Asifa Shagul. Rhea Shah. Kayla K. Sharma. Sydney Ann Shaw. Kayatu T. Sherman. Sakshi Shetty Santos Kumar. Isaac H. Shin. Marvi Shroff. Gurpia Singh. Surabi Singh. Gary Susa. Nor Smotty. Cameron Spink. Catherine Rose Smith. Matthew Joseph Smith. Mia Raquel Smith. Morgan Amelia Smith. Nicholas Jack Smith. Sydney Noel Smith. Cheyenne Tyler Sobani. Nathaniel Solomon. Vanessa Armansa Solomon. Jeremy Minyong Song. Tanvi Sony. Cindy Michelle Sosa Bonilla. 
Sam Attilia Cisita. Christine Nguyen Cisoa. Ilaria Francis Strucker. Adolfo Leonardo Suarez Osorio. Shravan Sudhir. Karis Jehi Sa. Kavya Surish. Layla Reese Swan. Carson Richard Swidalski. Nathan Tambu. Nehemiah Tamru. Jixuan Tan. Tyler M. Tanner. Abdul Tariq. Maxwell Keith Taylor. Jaden Steve Techpour. Isha Tucker. Sadish Thapa. Aminata Mary Chanta. Maribel Sarah Thomas. Sarah Rachel Thomas. Christiana Antoinette Thompson. Skylar Tongpak. Alexis Elaine Thornton. Abhinav Tumala. Linwood Sky Tai. Edwin Joel Torres Paniagua. Nicole Beatrice Torres Rivera. Nicholas Torres. Piero Alexandro Torico. Reed Tramble. Daisy Tran. Ethan Tran. Quan Tran. Remy Tran. Sarantu Traore. Joshua Treby. Olivia Marie Tregoning. Bryce Trinan. Aiden Trofkin. Christine Mai Trung. Joshua Tuzan. Felipe Valderrama. Brianna Vargas. Ziomara Delai Vargas. <laughs> Alyssa Vasco Vieira. Skanda Veda. Joshua Ventura. Elijah Verzi. Andre Vieira. Abel Villegas. Miguel Villegas. Jonathan Vo. Cecilia Vu.
Nahitha Vuji. Noah Wachter. Miriam Wade. Javon Walker. Jayla Wardrick. Damari Weber Childs. Jacqueline Grace Weber. Kathleen Weixel. Paris Marie Whitehead. Kidan Howard Williams. Spencer Allen Williams. Amani Jane Wilson. Wilmon Wilson. Peter Winstill. Julian Wolf. April Wright. Yashita Yarbandi. Jordan Yates. Kala Kra Yaboa. Nathan Yell. Grace Dahe Yu. Obedella Zamani. Angel Zhou. Catherine Elizabeth Ziffer. Gabriella Zuniga Moncada. What's up, class of 2022? Woo! My name is Haley Chung, and I am the class council vice president. Today, I'm honored to be a part of this great transition. Please stand and commemorate everything that these four years have given all of us. Most importantly, let us savor one last and final. See what? See what? The time has finally come for us to join together in turning our tassels from right to left. You're officially 2022 high school graduates. Families, as you exit, we have two exits to the side. We gotta go. Yeah, let's go.